gorgeous here is my cow pack review stay until the very end because i have a fabulous gift i think you're definitely going to enjoy it i have a ton of cow pack luggage because i love to travel a lot i have been traveling for many years and even before i had cow pack luggage i will tell you i have tried out the worst luggage the cheapest luggage and the nicest luggage that is like a thousand dollars and then luggage that was $36 from Amazon that cracked after one use. You're gonna wanna stay till the very end to get all the designs because I don't only have luggage, I have CalPAC tech organizers and things that I'm using for my trip. I'm gonna start off with smallest to largest luggage and accessories. This is the biggest disappointment I have ever seen. <laughs> so it has this beautiful gunmetal hardware. It's this blush color. I haven't seen one yet. This is the whole rose collection that you're gonna see also. So the blush color, they have uh, probably less than 10 colors. It's quite a bit, it's quite a few colors. So um, they're really beautiful. They come in all these different shades like neutral, blushes, and mauves. This is really good because uh, it's high security, so you you have to really open it to get it to get in there to see my information. So if someone tries to sh steal your information, they will have a very difficult obstacle of getting through, which is great. And I had to unbutton this and open it in order to to write it properly, write all my information, my name, my phone number. Number one thing I do not like about this is it is plastic. <laughs> so. Um, Plastic is a pain in the butt, but it's also, I guess, a good thing because it's durable for when it's being thrown around because when it comes to actual luggage, the people at the airport throw it. I know someone who used to work at an airport and he told me they just chuck it with abandon. They'll throw it across the room. So it's important to have good hardware, good luggage that actually protects your stuff. This is something that would have been genius because it is um, with my $36 luggage from Amazon because that's the reason why it cracked it hit an edge so this comes with a charger i have the charger in my nightstand i think because i need to recycle it this is a pain because the charger is less than five volts and it goes inside and i had to unwrap it to get inside the charger is typically in here however the problem is that it's less than five volts because that's what's legally allowed the tsa doesn't care because i brought chargers with way more voltage and just as a heads up i have a physics video coming out. I have a whole physics series on the difference between voltage and currents. The video is called car batteries versus household batteries. So you can check out what that actually means. Charger, I used it once and it got like less than half a charge. It was ridiculous. I have an iPhone 13 mini that is what I'm currently using to film and it was rendered useless. I've tried the plug to charge it in every single way. I looked online, I googled everything. I really did my homework because when I buy something, I intend to use it forever and I tend to use it properly and use it in a way that it's not deteriorating the product even faster. So I was really mindful about, do I plug it into this type of plug? Do I use this type of outlet? Do I use this? Anyway, so take care of your things. And this was a garbage buy. This was like $32. So save your money. If you want to get a real leather tag of luggage, I'll have one linked below. And you can probably monogram it or something, but when I get something that is plastic, get this. If you want to get, it comes with the charger. It's a total disappointment, this whole thing, I think. But you know what? I have a tag with my name on it that is very good security. And the thing about uh, luggage tags is that they are awful security because they have your information right on the front and nobody cares uh, to cover it. Or And I thought this was genius that it covers it. This is what my actual luggage looks like, but I'll have an image of it here or some type of footage of me using it. Aside from this, this is what I am packing to my New York trip. Next is um, this tech organizer. So this is what I use for my tech. And this has been a game changer. This is so brilliant because I used to, as you say in Norwegian, to have a fishnet of wires reaching into my bag. Or if you have a bag with, a, say, like a tote bag that has all these different compartments and pockets, you're looking for, wait, I think I put my charger here. Oh, I put this charger in this one. And you're like searching and digging in your bag for the rest of your whole vacation. And so <laughs> I put all my chargers and everything in here. I have one more charger I need to put in here, so I kept it open. And then I also put my silk sleep mask that is also part of the rose gold collection. And these come in different colors. These came in so many different colors, but they kept selling out. So check out the ones below. It comes with a, sh a shoulder pillow. Uh, and the sh shoulder pillow is right here. So I keep it inside my luggage with my mini carry-on. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. This is not a mess. This is actually neat, but um, it looks messy because I need to wear this outfit today for the airport. So this is the shoulder pillow it comes with. I love it. And it comes in this set. 
and I also love this because it can fit in your tote bag like your everyday bag or your work bag it's perfect for travel and Calpac has a lot of everyday lifestyle things not just like travel like they have a grocery bag I have my eye on for my car tech is on the inside typically I put this on the inside and I have this in my bag in my mini carry-on go to don't look at that that's my husband's don't anyway so this is mine this is Calpac so this is really cool because you can unzip it and then you can actually wash the silk by your by hand i have a video on how to wash how, how to hand wash silk items it's really easy remember silk is brilliant because it's antimicrobial which means it prevents the spread of bacteria the only thing uh is i wish it i used to have like this 15 dollars one from amazon that you could pull the string and it stretches and you can attach it to your luggage on the called the handle it stays on if in case you don't want to use it in case you are off the plane but i simply put this in my carry-on because this literally fits under my seat so i'll get into that some more but this the problem with this also is is the ability for practicality so i can't hang it on my luggage and i can't i don't like walking around with a shoulder pillow around my neck i think that's very improper <laughs> only use it when you plan on using it but this has a magnet and i kept dropping it like four times because i hung it by the magnet and my husband said why don't you hang it by the magnet and i said yeah i did that's why it fell four times so this is not sturdy uh <laughs> but otherwise it's brilliant it's beautiful i get tons of compliments on all my calpac luggage literally every time i travel with it so this is very beautiful it comes with comes with this everything here is gonna be pink because i love pink my whole office is pink my sweater's pink this sweater's pink this shirt is pink. Those are not pink. So <laughs> my pajamas, both these pajamas are pink. Next is my mini carry-on. And I'll have some a video, video and some footage on how small it is with my height. So this fits everything. I fit all my clothes into this thingamajig. The only thing is I didn't like the rim because it's black. It also is brilliant because it's practical. If I hit this edge, it's going to make a ton of scratches and look dark. I already have a scratch here. I just need to clean it. It looks like I need to, to brush it out and it will go away. I love this color. Everything in my office is this exact hex code, like E6, H12, GHD, something like that. <laughs> it's brilliant because you can unclip this and then lay it all the way down. A narrow little long place that you can hold your pens for your journal, for your travel journal, toothbrush, a clothing brush that I have a long skinny clothing brush. Um, for, instead of using a lint roller because lint roller actually causes more lint and adhesive sticks on and it's hidden in here and it's not messy because it's not a huge pocket of stuff this is my costume jewelry from amazon brilliant find and then i even fit my clutch in here this is crazy whiting and davis clutch that's what i love about a proper clutch in the evening is it doesn't fit your phone it's just for your wrist and it's really small so that you can really enjoy the moment calpac mini luggage carry-on and i also have this little travel hack here this is a amplified mirror and then this is the regular mirror switch so that in case the lighting is horrible in hotel rooms or your airbnb you can use this and you can do your makeup properly and see all the flaws like oh wait i don't have any I don't have any flaws, just kidding. This actually fits, and this is quite large. My hand is very small, and you can see that my hand barely fits around this. Fits in here perfectly fine. And I travel with this all the time in this luggage, and I have brought this to London. I'm a minimal packer, so I brought this to London for two, a two-week trip, and I managed to fit everything in it. So this is quite genius, especially when it comes to something that you can fit underneath your seat and you can pack a weekend trip. I typically just use a tote, but since using this, this is even more fantastic because it has the Japanese four spinning wheels where I used to think that, oh, I don't need those. Those are a way for people to uh, take more money from you. Ever since buying four wheeled luggage, <laughs> my life is so much easier. And I noticed that at airports, I found myself sweating. And I thought, why am I sweating? And it's because, oh, I'm actually tilting my luggage to be able to use its capabilities. But the four spinning Japanese wheels, I forgot what they're called. It's like, it's a Japanese name and the Japanese inventor made them. I thought, I saw like these businessmen using them and they looked very at ease when they were at the airport. And that's something I wanted. And you can sit your things on top of it without leaning and everything falling over. So life changer. Next, next, next is this hat box. And it has this really beautiful hardware. Their hardware has so many beautiful details because if you look closely, you can actually lock this and it's really shaped in a very unique way, which I like because it stands out. And also, if you notice, all my luggage is the same color or a similar color. I don't have a carry-on because I use the mini carry-on as a true carry-on. Fits underneath my chair. I hate carry-ons that you have to put above in the carriage compartment. What do you call that? Anyway, so this I get tons of compliments on. The only problem is it does not have a back thingamajig. Oh my gosh, I forgot one piece. 
this one does have a back sling i should i'll call it that so i have a ton of jewelry and like vaseline and baby powder <laughs> in here because i moved across the country and i loaded my jewelry in here in this vanity case so this is so brilliant and i'm actually gonna get my husband one because he has a lot of beauty products and when i say beauty products i mean like a metal razor a single blade and with like men's balm from england and he's from england so he has like all these really like gentlemanly products that are really cool because this can be detached and then it has this sling at the back so you can attach it to your luggage the hardware is matching the hat box so i have i think i have the medium the i think it's the medium hat box because i got it deliberately to fit a hat that was a specific size for a galapagos trip so this is the vanity and i put this on top of my luggage if i'm doing like a really luxurious trip where i need to do my hair a lot of protocol go to a really glamorous event so i need my hair tools hair tools are really huge i don't know why <laughs> this is the size and i like to put it at the shortest because it's the most comfortable for me but also at a length where when i walk it doesn't like bump my leg the whole time typically on top of that larger luggage and why am i out of breath <laughs> this also matches the hardware of the edges and only at the top which makes sense because this has feet and the feet is looks like plastic and it's really sturdy surprisingly and um i'm used to being so disappointed by luggage that's why so this has a rubbery plastic the the bottom is rubber and then here and then the top is plastic so this has so many compartments where you saw that it has this this flat compartment that's sheer that if you need like makeup tools like makeup brushes right away or your compact so that they don't bang into each other and the powder doesn't get shattered and this is the actual stuff there's my light stem tools um some more jewelry and it's really really big in here so this is that compartment the other side has a sheer mesh that you can see everything but it's an entire compartment instead of it being flat like this side and this makes a lot of sense to me so that you can see your things right away and you can know which tools to grab which side which i think is very important but you can have more private things in here like say your feminine napkins i say nothing is embarrassing but if you just want to be private it's good to be private that's perfectly fine too back to the hat box sorry i was doing smallest to largest items so this i noticed has a, a different handle it has a crock uh, handle and i have seen other hat boxes that actually have the sling on the back so this was kind of disappointing when i bought this first i get tons of compliments this fits under my seat and then i also use this as a weekender not just for a hat so that it doubles and it has feet which i love it's really good quality feet and you can feel that everything is well made it's just the material is plasticky it's much more affordable obviously than like a thousand dollar luggage i'm not gonna name the brand a copy of my passport is in here we typically leave a copy of my passport in all of my luggage so people know where to send it or know what i look like and whose it belongs to this also attaches and you can lay it all the way back down flat but this is genius because i needed a hat box that was sturdy and not cardboard this is super sturdy it's really pretty it fits my hats make sure to measure your hats and circumference so this next one has a bit of a different hardware the mini carry-on has this but also in the black hardware because you can lock it but in the united states it's illegal to lock it especially for domestic flights it also has this extension zipper for more space so if you want to pack quite a bit you can open it and this you can obviously lie it on its side as it has feet here and uh it has the four wheels this is scratched oh my golly what happened i think this was in denmark gosh darn okay so here's another handle fantastic i love when it has multiple handles and then you can also lock it if you're in europe it's perfectly legal to wrap your your luggage in saran wrap or lock it but in the united states they always check your stuff which is really annoying and then you you can get in trouble so it's not worth the risk put the handle down for any suitcase for any instrument case any type of case always have the handles down then that's how you know you're opening the right side just in case you yeah this is denmark plug for my phone then danish charger i used to live in denmark for those of you who don't know so this is your your average luggage has the mesh but it's all the way down so there's one up here and then there's one down here et voila oh. the zipper is high quality their own make or ykk i think it's 
possibly they're on make. It's a little bit rough, this one. The other zippers, especially the ones on the outside, are much more sleek. That's a way to tell if something's high quality. This has a narrow slit compartment. This has a detachable little compartment in case. I never use it. And then the seat belt, as I like to call it, and then another long compartment. Brilliant, genius, I love it. And you know what, let me close it the right way. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for staying until the very end. I have a monthly mood board for classic and elegant style for you linked below that you can access for free. And there will be a new one every single month sent out straight to your inbox. And you can sign up to the link below if you like classic, elegant, feminine style. And you can also follow me on LTK at Gia G. Dixon where I actually have daily style and Instagram at G Dixon. Check out the links below. Subscribe and click the bell if you want more high quality living and elegant style. And also give this a like. It's totally free so that more people can find the proper luggage that they need. And I also have a video coming out on what to pack for New York or the East Coast in the United States in winter, during winter. So let me know what you think in the comments below about the luggage. If you have a certain piece that you like, if you have any questions, I'd be more than thrilled to answer them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.